Ian. And I'm Luke. And welcome to B-Day of Lab Week. Today is Wednesday, October 28th. As you know, this week our schedule switched from 45-minute classes to 90-minute classes. When we come back on Friday, you will attend your classes 5 through 8. Also, we are excited to say that Cafe Blue opens today for a trial run. They will follow all the same safety precautions that restaurants in Wilson County follow to ensure safety of our customers. It is cash only and students may also purchase breakfast tomorrow from 7.25 to 7.45. After, teachers may send a class order and send a student with the teacher's ID to pick it up. Red Ribbon Week, which is celebrated annually in the last week of October, is the nation's oldest and largest drug prevention awareness program. Since its beginning in 1985, the Red Ribbon has touched the lives of millions of people around the world. To celebrate, we're asking you to wear red shirts this week. Your books are still on sale. Always on sale. Students can purchase these at the school website or in A303. They are still $65, which is the lowest price of the year. Students can personalize their books with a name stamp for an additional $15. Seniors, please stop by Guidance to pick up a voucher to take the December ACT for free. You will use this voucher to sign up online at act.org to take the December 12th test. The deadline to sign up without a late fee is November 6th, so get it quick. This is deadline week for seniors. Tennessee Promise application deadline is November 2nd. You take UTK and other major universities also have a November 2nd application deadline in order to be eligible for competitive scholarships. Even if you think you won't use it, go ahead and apply so you will remain eligible. Circumstances change and we want you to keep free college as an option. Guidance created a remind code for each grade. Please join your remind classes with your code as soon as possible. This is a great way for them to inform you about test dates and deadlines. Since we're getting back in the swing of things, clubs are begging to meet and have activities. There's an FBLA meeting Wednesday, November 4th, which is today, and Thursday, November 5th, after school in the bank. It's not today, it's next week. But it's not too late to join, because you got a week. GSA will be meeting today after school in Ms. Robertson's room, B213. And don't forget, Officer applications are due this week. It's that time of year again. Student Council is hosting our annual canned food drive for the Wilson County Health Center. The canned food drive will take place November 2nd, which is next Monday, to November 13th. This year, the class competition will begin at the second class of the day, which is your fifth block on Skyward. This year, they are offering prizes to students, clubs, and even teachers. Soups and peanut butter are four points. Canned meats are three points. Mac and cheese and rice are two points. Fruits, vegetables, beans, and others are one point. They ask that you have no glass or ramen noodles, and please check the expiration date. Teachers, if you would like a box to help you collect cans in your classroom, please email Miss Robertson. They will also have a meeting tomorrow and Friday. Come by to hear from the Help Center about the impact our canned food drive makes in our community. Boys basketball tryouts will be Tuesday, November 3rd from 6 to 45 to 745 in the main gym. Interested students must have a current physical in order to try out. Students will need to enter through the doors in the back of the school by the auto shop due to the commons being used for the election. Any questions should be directed to Coach McDowell or Coach Martin. Last year, BDN launched the streaming of live events here at LHS. It was a huge success and we want to expand. We averaged around 1,200 views per basketball game. We are currently rec recruiting students, boys, and girls to join our BDN sports crew. We need behind-the-scenes workers as well as commentators. Come by the BDN room B322 to see Miss Nitt. Your Blue Devil bowling teams took on the Portland Panthers at Pro Bowl West. Coming off an awesome win last Thursday, they wanted to keep that winning streak alive. Only giving up two points during the match, they rolled their way to victory over the Panthers 25-2. to At the same time, your Lady Blue Devil bowlers took on the Panthers, working hard to keep their undefeated record. They didn't hold anything back, taking the win away from the Panthers 20-7. to Cross Country also placed 8th out of 17th teams in this year's Region 5 Championship on Tuesday. Six of the top seven varsity runners turned in times under 20 minutes and a personal record time was set by Hayden Jones with a time of 1847. 
Aiden Britt continued his domination, beating the second place runner by 36 seconds and qualifying for the TSSAA state meet. Four of our cross country doublets also competed on Tuesday. Neely Hutto and Stephanie Diastato set personal records. Ellie Denton ran a 25-39, and Kerrigan Gill returned from an injury to run a 25-59. Congratulations to these ladies on a fantastic season, and we look forward to three more years of cross-country excitement from this group. Did you know that we have a fishing team? A senior Brady Duncan placed ninth out of the 250 boats in the Bassmasters High School National Championship at Kentucky Lake. He's advanced to the next round, and we will keep on updating you with his progress. This Friday, our boys' varsity team takes on Rossview here at home. The theme is Halloween, and it is a must-win for our boys to advance to the playoffs. That's all the news we have today, LHS. I'm Ian. And I'm Luke. And this has been news to you from the white and blue.